Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Welcome. Let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, let's see. It's all gobbledygook is our next one. Let's head up over there. And this is at the top of the tower. So astronomy wing and let's see how high can we go. Looks like the astronomy tower might be the highest. And we'll just have to hoof it up there. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay. Well, this is pretty far away, but let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and warp over there. Too bad I can't fly up out of here. I'm actually kind of surprised. Alright, to the world map. Okay. Ah, oh, fascinating. It's to a warp point that I actually don't have yet. It's been a while since I've had one of those. I think I might still have one in the Hogwarts grounds that I need to get as well. Okay. This is a waste of my talents. <clears throat> Wonder if this is not a good warp to pick. Not sure how to get out of here. Um, isn't this a place that has like a ladder or something? It comes down to it. Yeah, maybe this is a way out. Or maybe not. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't remember, so let's just warp out of here to whatever's closest by. There we go. This one down by the river should be fine.
Okie dokie. Only 300 meters away. Revelio. I like that. It's kind of like the mines in my ND. Uh. Oh yeah, gotta catch those lee swings. Let's see, I think I saw one more treasure. Yeah. Come to Papa. Hmm. I didn't even open this one. I don't even search it from that far away. Crazy. Here's our dodge. Not sure it's actually saving any time. <laughs> All right, here we go. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. 
I shall see you soon. Okay. Here we go. The door is looking at us. <laughs> Guess we should use that spell, huh? Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Please don't open me. Oops. Right. Pretty bad if some fifth year students can get past it, huh? Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Okie dokie. I wonder if I could have come I up here before the mission. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this leaf. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Oh, what do we have over here? Rebellio. Money. A little teleport in there, I think. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio. There we go. We got some pressure over to the door. Now that thing is running. Let's see if there's anything over here first. I've read about mines like uh. this. But seeing one is something else altogether. That one looks like it's uh, gonna run. I think this is good. Oh no, I need a rest of momentum. That's what I need. Not Glacius. Um, I think it's this one. No, that's the same though. That's the wrong one. All right, where is our rest of momentum? Here we go. Arrest on momentum. Maybe it doesn't work. Okay then. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no stopping that. Okay. We'll just continue on our merry little way. I'll meet you. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Arrest over men. Rebellion. I'll get us through his safety Easy done. Need. You have my word. Okay. Let's see here. Akio. Okay, do that. And this is another one of those doors of the I've been eye. By a door. Yep. I think I know what to do, but <sighs> I'm just looking around because I thought maybe there would be something back here. Can't see us now. We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. I think we already figured out the puzzle there, bud. Couldn't bring I don't know, man. I wonder how to Rebellion. get through this door. <laughs> I just I, I don't know what to do. Um here's an interesting little place. Hoping that there is some way that we double back into this area. See, there's just that one handle. 
just looking to see if anything else might have changed that would have opened this gate, perhaps. I mean, it looks like we could go up in there. But maybe we'll find another way. Revelio. There is a grate over there, so that makes me think that maybe there's I some way to like get higher. I feel from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Hmm. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Well, we'll search that in a minute. Only collect the goods. Give me the goods. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess let's get the plan first. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We Rebellion. can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Uh -huh. so this is where all the interesting stuff happens. Imperial. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building. Okay. Well, let's see what to do. I head back over here. Ah, Wigan Weld. It's everywhere. I believe. Aha. Uh -huh. One more thing. So we got most everything in here. Now, how do we get to our next area? I remember there's a pathway. See, so I think that's how we came in. So there's this other path over here. Rebellion. And it has its own staircase. Let's go see. Okay, oh, I see now. I see how this is linked. Okay. So our next path is over this way, I believe. Alright. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Arrest the momentum. Ah, can't even stop the hammer. Its realism's broken. Okay. The pulse. You can't stop. No, the laser. The pulse. Drink another one. Oopsie. There you are. Dang, we are just getting all the goblins, aren't we? Uh -huh. oh, this 
stay close. I can't like, do much stop worse. all the murder, please. Another boy, Rebellion. This place is more complex than I had expected. It's like how many dozens of goblin widows and widowers are we about to make here? Um. Yeah, my, my, my guy's pretty tough. Well, that's a murder. Okay. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Ah, here's something I think we can get. Ooh, a few somethings. Revelio. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Let's get that present. Hope I can get that one that was up on the high spot. Rebellion. Small Vivarium decorations. Nice. An unidentified face item. It's a legendary too. Ooh la la. Perhaps we'll find out a way to get to that one on our way out. Ah, here's something I need to pull on. Let's see, what does that power up? I guess something out in that room. Maybe another door? Or maybe it slowed the water down enough that I could pass? I'm not sure. A royalist sentinel with Barbarda while they charge their magic and use a mandrake against an enemy. Okay. Loyalist sentinel. Defendo too much lately, so let's try getting that back on the roster. What about Expelliarmus? Let's do this, and let's put Flippin' though on. There we go. So one more. Yeah. There we go. How many of them are there? That should be the last oh, one. What is this? 
thought that was another guy jumping in. Rebellion. Okay. Use the mice, muckers, peanut butter, and jelly right about now. Draw all of that and slaughter. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's another one of the tricky eyeballs. <laughs> I always wanted to say that's a fire spell, even though I know it's not. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Loco what we found. Hmm. Shortcut out. Revelio. It sure looks like it could be one though. Maybe on the way back out. out of him and retracing our steps. But there is. This is like an elevator right here. It's like where an elevator would be. Look at that, there's spikes down in there too. Interesting. Um go back in here for a minute just in case there is a way out. I could be missing something very obvious. Rebellion. But I don't see anything yet. So we've got this machine going, which wasn't going previously. Ah, so I need to pull this handle. That's what it is. Okay. That's what I did do. Yeah. Got it. And that'll bring down the elevator that I was looking at before. Okay. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. In the map, it looks like there's another chamber right here, but I don't see anything. I wonder. This looks like it might not be towards the exit. Hey, or if this goes to the area that we were trying to get the treasure out of earlier. Haven't done a Alohomora in a hot minute. So let's see. Revelio. Well, it's a treasure, but I don't think it's the treasure that we were looking at earlier. That's all right. I'm not trying to be a completionist right now or anything. Maybe we'll get it some other time. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Oh. That's what I say, where is it though? Okay. Poor guy, having to teleport me in all the time. I gotta say, Amit's not doing a very good job keeping up with the uh, elevator and everything. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's just taking me, yeah, this is taking me deeper in. Uh, so I guess I was already there. <laughs> that would explain why the elevator wasn't. Um, at the right spot. Okay. So now our exit, I think, is actually out this way. Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, that was a cute little level. I like it. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. 
I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. All the same, most of the little adventures in this game are pretty great. Like, if you imagine going on any of these adventures, you know, it'd be wild. I feel like they, uh, for the main quest ones, they feel, you know, kind of up to snuff with some of the Harry Potter main story, you know, stories. So it's pretty cool. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Okay, the plot thickens. 
Oh, I guess. I hope Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Probably gonna get some more voicemail, so we'll just go ahead and fly over there. Let them play for a minute. Well, actually, this is going back to the map chamber, so let's go to Spin Witches instead. Let me warp. Let me warp. I wish there were more upgrades to the broom. Like, I would have liked some customization beyond just one set. Like, it would be cool to make different colors and maybe little trinkets hanging off of it. Um, maybe, I don't know, a boom box. Something cool. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. First off, we gotta offload the gear that we know we're not gonna wanna keep. We'll keep these two, you know. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna matter. 4,000. Hmm. I'll buy seven of them. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay, broom upgrade two. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumors of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, let's see where she's at currently. To the world map. Ooh. Here we go. Wonder if this is the final course, I can't remember if there's three or four of them. From what I've heard, we'll see soon enough. Ah, nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, this is near the scary mansion with all the zombies in it. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually thank you i know i can be impatient but i get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as i do and in my experience that's everyone <laughs> anyway don't let it go to your head right then enough chatter i'm confident i've posted a time you won't be able to beat we'll soon see how i fare won't we i'm ready <laughs> get ready to lose ravenclaw Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can handle this. Made it. Oh, only hit two of them. Excellent. We're well, flying for accuracy. It's harder than I remember to ten well. Ah. Okay. 
That might have been fatal right there. Getting a time of 242. But also we lose time for missing goals, so maybe it'll work out. Pretty flying, if I do say so myself. that one. And 16 more rings. That wasn't too difficult. It's a really cool course. Nice overview of the area. I do hope that they'll keep us in for any potential sequel or like if they it. have a DLC come out with like a new area. I hope that they'll include a new forest or two. I've enjoyed this enough that I can see myself getting the DLC and maybe playing a few more of the Merlin trials and stuff. This is going well. Don't know if I'll stream it much more, but we'll see. that one. I thought I hit it for sure. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Okay, I guess I got it. <laughs> this is rather fun. Oh, cool. I didn't think I would. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway. Hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. You take care of yourself. Okay. And I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Yep, here we go. This will be pretty good timing. I can swing back by my room of requirement after this and do a round of activities in there and call it a stream. So I think that's what we'll try to do here. As my favourite test flyer. Huh. 
Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay. Sneaking off to run away with the girls. Um, let's go ahead and check out our collections first. We'll go ahead and clear off anything we can. We'll go to the room of requirement. Right after. Oh, looks like I have another thing to you. Where, oh, where is our exclamation mark at? There we go. Okay. How about our inventory? What are we showing in here now? Hmm. Disappeared. Okay. Gear. Oh, yeah. We'll find out what that is in the room of requirement. Secret rooms. Man, thank goodness for fast travel. I do remember the days where fast travel was not a thing and the worlds were just as big as something in a game like this. And oh boy, it's not a fun experience. Ah, oh, brown eye and new goggles. Sadly, they're both downgrades, I believe, but let's just double check. Let's level 33 versus... Ah, 33 we've already got as well. So it's just down anyways, because we can only upgrade the offense. Um, so seven points lower. Oh, what a bummer. Um, I think the other thing was a neck item. Let's just see what it was. Kill Chinese fireball scarf. A Chinese fireball, that, that was a dragon breed, right? So that actually could look pretty rad if we uh, just do change appearance. So let's see. Where is our Chinese fireball scarf at? Huh. Does it only show up uh, Royal Chinese Fireball? Is that what it was? Royal Chinese Fireball? No, a teal. Okay. So I wonder, does it have to be that legendary color? There it is. It's down here at the very bottom right. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's look at the Royal one though. Ah, uh, my look is might bit better. I think it will take yet. Kind of clashes with the cloak a little bit there though, so let's see if we can change it out too. It's a little bit less loud. There we go. We're gonna go really purple today. Any other purple we can smack on? Yeah, gothic attire. Booyah. Okay. Looks good for me. Ah. Let's see, uh, gloves. 
Maybe we got something purplish to throw on here. Complete ensemble. These ornate ebony gloves might look interesting. Sleep dueling gloves, those look cool. Actually, all these are pretty interesting. Um, Ashwander Skull. Dark Arts Gloves. Hey, yeah, those look good. They've got almost a little bit of a bluish or purple tint in the material. Okay. Well, I kind of like this. Bit, bit different, you know, for sure, but different can be good, right? Uh, let's see. I forgot to get anything from the chopping stations. I always forget about the chopping stations for some reason. Here we go. Let's pull up some plants. Okay, and I don't think I use any of the Venus or Venomous Tentacula. Keep wanting to call them Venus flytraps. I think that's what they're meant to resemble, but I know they're not that. <laughs> um, let's see. I think that we probably have a ton of pet supplies. Like, I'm really kind of at the point of just not really interested in taking the time. Um, let's see. I just want to see how we're doing on all these other things. Just out of curiosity, if there's anything to watch for. Seems like Doug Bog Tongue is the thing I need to pay more attention and lacewing flies. I hate having to kill dogs to get their fur though. That sucks. Um, and as far as clothing upgrades go, I think I'm still limited by Phoenix hair and um, Grab Horn Horn. I mean, look at this. I've got so much of everything else. The toad is probably my biggest sweet point. Uh, I mean, I even have more unicorn hair than I do the toad. That's crazy. But point being, I think I've already harvested like everything I can to, uh, you know, like not waste my time. So, you know, just petting them alone, uh, it's not super satisfying anymore. I think I've done it enough. Um, now, interesting that these are on the wall because I did not think that I would have had that. Um, let me see. Where's our Evanesco? This is it, right? It's been a while since I used that one, so I kind of forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't set these out, right? I remember setting out some artwork. You be proud of all the potions you but I don't remember doing this. I don't know. Maybe I did. Um, maybe I just did kind of one of each and forgot about it. I'll just leave it. It's not bad or anything. Um, it does make me wonder if any of the other walls had something on it. I'm just doing a quick look out of curiosity. But yeah, unless there's some down here downstairs. I don't think there are. Maybe I did just place those out of wanting to randomly use one of each or something. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I think that puts me in a great pause point for today. So I want to go ahead and roll credits, say thank you for watching. This has been S tier rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and on YouTube. And I will have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.